You're really clever, Floppy. Oh, boy. Wow. All done. Her very own walkie-talkies. Let's go and try them. This is Rubear calling. Rubear calling. Come in, please. Oh. Yes, yes. Please come in. Please come in. Yes, Rubear. You're not coming through. Uh, speak a little louder. You mean you can't hear me when I speak like this? I'll try louder. Wow! <laughs> hey, Rubear, I just heard a horrible sound like a monster roaring. What was that? Over. That wasn't a monster. That was just Tammy shouting at me. Over. What? Yeah! Yeah! Oh, my! Hi. End of the town square. Roger! Wait! You call me a monster, Rubear! And now I'm mad I'll get you for the Rubear! Stop, Rubear! I'm gonna teach you a lesson! You can't get away from me! I'll get you sooner or later! Oh, it's so boring with nothing to do. There aren't any crooks in this town. Nobody ever steals anything here. It's a shame. Do you think if some crooks did come to town, the people would help us catch them? I wish I knew. Calling Floppy. Have you got any money on you? Over. Floppy here. Sorry, no money. What do you need it for? Well, I'm standing in front of an ice cream store, and I wish I had some money. Over to you, Floppy. Same here. I'm looking at a fruit stand, and the fruit looks delicious, but there's nothing we can do about it. Stop, thief! Somebody stop those thieves! Help, everybody! Kill them! Oh! Emergency! Emergency! Huh? Oh! Rubear, I'm chasing the thief with the red mask! Roger! Good work, Floppy! I'll chase the one with the blue mask! Darn, I lost him. I don't know which way he went. This is Rubear. I can't find my thief, Floppy. Over. This is Floppy. I'm still chasing mine. Ah, no, now. Hey, stop, please. A thief! A thief! This is big news! A thief! Gee, I wonder where that thief is gone. He may be hiding right around here somewhere. Huh? Uh, excuse me. Stop, thief! Wait! Floppy! This is Rubear calling Floppy! Over to you! This is Floppy! I'm still on the run! Huh? Oh. Floppy calling Rubear! Now I've lost my thief! How are you doing with yours? Over! Well, I'm chasing my thief again, Floppy, but I seem to be in a barrel. Well, that must make it hard to see where you're going. <laughs> so you were hiding in this truck, huh? Halt! News! Really sensational news! No fooling sensational news! Thieves in town are making their getaway! Mr. Mayor, I understand that our peaceful town has never had a case of theft. Now, why is that? <laughs> well, it's obviously because all the people here are totally honest. And I think as mayor, I can take some... He's running loose in town! <laughs> Two bull thieves! They're escaping! Thieves in our town? That's preposterous! Now, tell me, Mackie Mackie, what was it these thieves stole? Ah, uh, I don't know. I was so excited I never thought to ask. I'll find out! Uh, there must be some mistake. There certainly aren't any thieves in our town. Still, let's check. I'll just call the police station. There's no answer at the police station. Well, of course not. Our boys are on the job. Our two policemen are out chasing those dastardly thieves, as they should be, noble lads. used to all that running. This is Rubear calling Floppy.
Floppy, come in, Floppy. Can you read me? Yes, Floppy here. What's happening? I've got my thief cornered. He's taking a rest, but what do you think I should do now? I can't arrest him. Over to Floppy. I've got a problem, too. My thief has gone into the public washroom, and I'm just waiting for him out here. I don't know what to do. Over. These thieves are kind of scary. I wish you were here. Oh. Hey, stop that. I don't want to be a litter bug. Will you throw that in the trash for me? Hmm. He's got a nerve. I hear you were chasing a thief. What did he look like? Well, I don't really know what he looks like because he had a mask on. I don't understand at all. They don't seem to have stolen anything. You'd think if they had, it would have been reported. Mm. What do you think, Blue Bear? Blue Bear? Hey. Huh? Oh. Are you down there, Blue Bear? Oh. I wonder where he's got to. It's spooky down here. I've really got him cornered this time, Rue Bear. This is Floppy. Come in, Rue Bear. Rue Bear! Oh. 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 You'd better go back down, young fella. It isn't safe here. You thief, you can't get rid of me that way. I've got you trapped now. Be careful, son. Stay there. Hang on. Oops, a daisy. Hi. Huh? This is a big place down here, and I've looked everywhere for that. Uh -huh. <laughs> so bored with our jobs. We wanted to find out if we'd get any help from the people of this town if some real thieves came. Oh, what a pair of bumbling screwballs. Oh, I see. That's why they were so nice to us. Mr. Mayor, these two boys were wonderful. They'd be a big help with our work. Yes. You acted like real heroes today, young men. <laughs> Where's that Ruben? Huh? Oh. I'll get you in. Whoa. Run for it. Oh, no. Friends again, Rubert, don't run away. I'd rather try. 
want to play tennis, Pammy. I'm just not built right for that game. Tennis certainly isn't a game for a girl with short legs like yours. What an insulting thing to say. Uh, I'm sorry if the truth hurts, Pammy. Well, you don't have to say it. Oh, oh boy, it's going way off into the woods. Oh, never mind, I'll get it. Uh. Nope. Not here. Oh, where can it be? Are you wearing? We have decided to join the Back to Nature movement. A lot of people are doing it using natural things. We don't need modern luxuries. We make things with our hands. Mm. I don't know what you're talking about, but you look awful. Betty and Pammy, why don't you give up tennis and all that modern stuff and come back to nature with us? You'll feel free when you give up all modern comforts. Let's try it, Betty. I think the Back to Nature life would suit me better than tennis healthy. But I sure wouldn't want to have to dress like that. Let's ask Laura what she thinks. <laughs> oh, wait! Patty! The three things everybody needs to stay alive are food, clothing, and shelter. Understand? We wear clothes to keep warm, but also to make us look nice. My dress does both those things. And for shelter, we'll build a house for ourselves. We'll have to have tools to do that. I'll go and borrow them from Papa. A saw, a hammer, and lots of others. Oh, no. We have to make those things for ourselves. It wouldn't be fair to use modern tools. Can we make tools like that? Just leave it to me. How about you girls making some dishes for us? Sure! <laughs> Floppy? I made us an axe. Do you think your axe will really chop wood? It'll cut this big stick like butter. Gee, Floppy, maybe you should have used that big stick for the axe. How's that for using my head? Isn't making dishes easy? There now. But what is it? It's a bowl. Look at the nice teapot I made. Beautiful dishes. Oh, dear. Aw. Don't forget to follow the plan I made. Getting these sticks tied together is the really tricky part of the work. Can you do it, Rubear? Just leave it all to me. Ah, oh, ah, ah. This doesn't work. Shoot like this and... You're supposed to tie up the sticks, not yourself. I'll remember that next time, Floppy. I brought you some more leaves, Nick. Yeah, thanks. Ouch! Hey, watch what you're doing, Nick. That's my ear. Ow! No! Now look what you've done! It was Nick's fault. He tied my ear to the side of the house. It's Floppy's plan. It just won't work. Yeah, well, if you Nick on this is what he's doing, I'm going to my plan and work. You expect us to live in that dark hole? What became of your leafy house? I don't like it. It's just an old cave you found. It's exactly the kind of home our ancestors used to live in before there were modern houses. If it's really a shelter, will it protect us from the rain? Sure it will. It may be dark and dreary, but it'll keep out the rain. Oh, oh, oh how nice. nice. By the way, did you finish making all the dishes that we'll need? I wouldn't want to eat anything out of those. They're nothing but ugly lumps of clay. We work very hard to make those. And if you don't believe us, just try making some yourself. When are you going to start cooking? Before we can do any cooking, we'll have to have water and fire, and so far we haven't got either one. Hey, Floppy, weren't we supposed to dig a well? Um, 
We haven't got the tools. Even if we dig a well, there might not be water in it. What did our ancestors do to get water? Hey! Good question, Tommy. Oh, what do you mean? Oh, ah. I should have known the answer. Our ancestors got water from the river. We'll make a fire in it. Our fireplace will be finished in a minute. Gee, Rubert, do you really know how to make a fire? Sure, wait and see. didn't have matches and they got fired this way. I'll keep going. I'll get some dry grass. Hey, look at that! You're almost there! Keep going, Floppy! You really made fire! Get some more dry grass, Floppy! Sure, right away! That's right, but we won't give in. No! no! 